happening, William? Where are we? What's happening? We're on a bus on our way to, I guess you have to watch the video to find out. Uh, a crazy mess. When a bus arrived, all these guys started to like bombard the bus. And as soon as the door opened, they all stepped in and I was like, what's going on? Hi, my name is Will and welcome to my channel. I've lived in six countries in five years and yes, I am still traveling. I'm currently in French Guiana, but not for long. I'm headed to Suriname. It is one country north of French Guiana. But how do we get there? Uh, by bus. Ta-da! Everybody wants to see you. They want to see who I'm traveling with. Who's the cameraman? I don't know if you remember, but in the Dominican Republic, we had Calmados. In French Guiana, we have what are they call the Chinese. <laughs> ...at the border is a city called Saint Laurent. In order to reach it, it's gonna be four hours of bus ride. You know you're in France when you see a sign that says La Croissanterie. What does that mean? Croissant Bakery. It's been an hour and a half of driving and all I see is green, 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 everywhere green. And you happy? Yes, it's nice, but it's just a lot of green. realized traveling and growing up in the United States I knew I was African-American and most of the people in power were white people I mean basically but then now traveling the world I realized there are whole entire countries of just black people and it's pretty amazing well you mean that black people are not only in Africa basically oh yeah I mean we're currently in South America and we're in a country called French Guiana and the majority are black people but there's also a mix of a lot of culture with, uh, you know, Asians. Because, and it looks like the place we go now, it's going to be a lot of mix also. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be part of the adventure. A culture shock, I think. Pit stop, beer time. You see what time it is trying to do? Doesn't matter. Adio, let's go to Sunny now. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. What happened to you? Don't show that. No. What is it? No. Who knows what it is? No, but what is it? It's some kind of bite. I don't know. So the, the life in the jungle is very dangerous. Well, I don't know about dangerous, but it can cause problems. All right, guys, we're almost there. We're on to the next leg of our trip. We're not sure exactly how it's going to happen, but I think we have to take a boat somewhere. Because where is the country? The on the other side of the river. It's on the other side of the river, yes. So in order to cross the border, I'm going to take a boat. Yes, exactly. A pirogue. Did you sleep? You look tired. No, I, I almost slept, but you woke me up. Oh, 
Okay, you guys, we've arrived here in Salon, and I have to tell you, it was kind of uh, a crazy mess. When a bus arrived, all these guys started to like bombard the bus, and as soon as the door opened, they all stepped in, and I was like, what's going on? These are the guys that are the captains of the small boats, the pirogues, that take you across the border, across the river. So here's what it looks like. So we've arrived at our boat, which is this one right here, and I'm about to get on. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> I guess he's one of the captains of the boat, yeah? Yeah. All right, guys, it's happening. We're on the pirogue, and we're about to cross the border to enter into Suriname. There's French Guiana. We say goodbye. After we filled up the paperwork and you asked me the same question, we're standing in line waiting for customs. We're in line. Okay, you guys, we just finished with the customs, which is back there, right behind us. We stood in line for probably maybe 15 minutes. It was a pretty easy uh, process. All you have to do is you fill out this long form asking where you're from, your citizenship, your passport number, where you're going, where you're staying here, and uh, just that only the relevant information. But now we're outside and we're waiting on our cab. There's plenty of cabs outside of the place, so it's easy to find a cab, so that's not an issue. And my first impression, first impression of Suriname is very, it's very interesting. We'll see where it goes from here. Now, let me take a moment to discuss money and talk about what things cost. We talked about the bus already, the pirogue. The pirogue was the boat ride we took across the river to reach the other side and reach Suriname. That cost $5 per person which is very cheap and easy to do. The second part is uh, once you get outside of the customs, you need to hire a cab to get to the main city, of Paramrami Bull, <laughs> which that will cost you another $25 or euros in our case. No, once you're here, drivers are on the opposite side of the road. So you better be careful. <laughs> here you can see it is no joke the amount of water that is collected on the ground in such a short period of time is just staggering okay guys we just got out of the cab and we just arrived to our airbnb and my first impression it's an awesome place look at this it is absolutely the best place on the street 
And I have to say, I am absolutely exhausted after eight hours of travel. And as you can see, I'm shooting myself because the cameraman is, he's done. So let's go into the Airbnb and check out and see what it's like. So the instructions are, we're to po supposed to go to a lock box, which is here, punch in the code and then enter through the garage. So let's see if the code works. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Okay, let's open the garage. Open says me. Okay, here we go. Let's go in and see. Okay, and here's the front door. So that's the end of the video because I am absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna go take a shower and crash. So you know what to do at this point. You need to hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and ring the bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. So I'm going to say goodbye and good night.